Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. In the previous episode, I've been building a prawn suit, but before I start to put it through its paces, I want to be able to upgrade it. So one of the things I definitely want is uh, the actual drilling arm, uh, but I don't have the uh, the blueprints for that yet. And I also want the improved thrusters for it. So that's just going to stay there sitting on the seabed for the moment. The, the other thing that we would did was to go over to the Aurora again. There was a, a message came through telling us that there'd been a data interception. Went over there and found out that there was some blueprints had been sent over to to build our own uh, spaceship to get off the planet. So we now have a blueprint for a let's find it. Yeah, there it is for for the Neptune launch platform. I mean, I could start building that, but the problem is we're never going to get off this planet alive until A, I get in, uh, the infection removed, um, and B, get the gun disabled. So there are a couple of things I can think of doing uh, next. One which was to go down to the Degassi base here and start searching, but I'm a bit concerned. I mean, there's um, the depth's okay. I mean, the Seamoth sea can reach that. But I know what's there. Uh, if you've seen the trailer, then you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I mean the Seamoth might fare well. I mean, it did survive against that Reaper. But the problem is, I'm going to have to be jumping out of that to have a look at um, what's over here. I mean, it might be okay on its own. So there is a possibility. And another option is to wait until I find the fragments for the, set, uh, the Cyclops. There are some that are missing at the moment. There's been three locations I've been to so far where I've found some other fragments for the, Cyclo uh, the Cyclops, so I could go back to those with a scanner, for instance, build a scanner room in those areas and see if I can pick up some more Cyclops fragments, specifically the ones I need. But before I do anything else, I want to pick up this message here. I want to play back this radio message and see what, uh, what it is. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Oh, okay, so I think what I'll do in that case is I want to go and visit this life pod first. Uh, just see if we picked anything up from that. So. Life pod seven, good distance about it, one kilometre southwest of the Aurora stern. So I think I'm going to assume it's not in here. Yeah, it's not. It's not showing up as a beacon. So what I'm going to have to do then is I'm going to have to take the sea moth over to the Aurora, and then just use the compass to get a rough, rough estimate as to. Um, where this life pod 7 is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to bring you back once I found life pod 7 okay so I've managed to find life pod 7 over here uh, keep getting attacked by I'm not sure what these are but the, they do pack quite a punch I'll say that but what I did is I went to the back of the Aurora um, I know there's a Reaper of Leviathan fairly close by, so I just went to the to the corner, to the actual corner, and started heading southwest from there. I came out about here, and I know it was saying that the depth was about 200. So as we started to get deeper and deeper, I just basically just searched, um, and then eventually I found this. So the trouble is, those things are. Keep it, we keep sort of like ramming the, the same of them, we're causing quite a lot of damage, which is annoying. I'm going to have to jump out and repair this. Hopefully, I won't get attacked in the process. But, right, I want to make a quick dash in, in here and see what we find. So, that's just cosmetic, cosmetic stuff. So, let's see what's in here. Um, oh, a toy car. Definitely useful. Ah, an unusual doll. I was really hoping for something a bit more useful than that. 
Oh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a grey cap now. And a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. I'll play this back then. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. I can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. Yeah. Yeah, the um, the distress signal did say he was having problems with his fabricator, so yeah, that explains why. Whoa, that took a hit. One thing I noticed while I was around here and looking, there was a there was actually a fragment I found for the Cyclops, but it's uh, I think that was uh, an engine fragment. Yeah, they seem determined to ram the, the seam off here. So right, so there's that there. Now that to me looks like another engine fragment. Nasty. Don't know what that was about. Gonna take a health kit there. Um so what I'm going to do then while I'm here is I'm going to just start uh, moving around and having a look to see if I can find anything particularly useful. And I'm still keen to find these fragments for the um, from the Cyclops though. Uh, so I'm going to have a scout around here. And if I find anything more useful, I'll I'll bring you back, assuming I survive at this rate. That is. Okay, so I, I didn't find anything. You know, majorly interesting over there. It was mostly just uh, metal fragments, but I took a bit of a detour coming over from there because uh, I noticed the I noticed these as I was coming by down here. So I believe that down there is the Grand Reef. Over there, I think where we are, where we're coming from was the I think it's called the Crag Field. Um, over there. But as I was coming over the ridge, I noticed there's this big wreck here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore around this wreck. Because it seems to be spread over a bit of a distance. It looks familiar to me, to be honest. I'm going to have a look around here and see if I can find anything of particular interest. And if I do, I'll bring you back to show you. Okay, so if you're wondering where that wreck is, it's about 344 meters northwest of Life Pod 7 here. I didn't find anything major outside. Uh, what I found were some moon pool fragments, thermal plant fragments, scanner room fragments. I went inside and I found a data bank with a repulsion cannon, but we've got all those items already, so it didn't seem particularly beneficial. But what I've done now is I've left a, I've left a, a beacon down here because I want to come back. It's a bit tricky to get inside the the wreck. You can you can get in, into there. There's like a, there's this part here where you'll have to swim. You can swim up here. I had to cut my way through about two doors. For instance, there's one came through here, cut through that one. There's another one, cut through that one. But what I found is, uh, if I can find my way back out again, it's a bit uh, disorienting, disorientating as you're getting in there. And um, what I want to do is I want to come back here, have a look at this wreck with some better equipment. I think there's a, like a, I think we learned the rebreather. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check the check if, we've, uh, if we have learned that or not. Yeah, we've learned the rebreather which helps you uh, conserve your oxygen. You can also get things like pipes and floating pumps and, and so on. I think there's a tool that allows you to leave trails behind so you can get in and out of, the, out of here easier. But I do want to come back because one of the things I found was another data bank. 
and I also found what looked to be a torpedo, um, not a torpedo, a prone grappling arm, which I do want. They're very useful to be able to get yourself to um, good distances if you sink quite low, for instance, and you need to be able to get up to a higher height than your thrusters can get you. You can use the grappling arm to, to grab a hold of something and pull yourself up. So I, I definitely want to find that. But um, there was, I believe, there was another way in. I didn't, I, I mean, I'm surprised I missed it. Because I had a look around the top and I couldn't see it. But there was definitely a, because I, I managed to actually come back out again. There, there it is there. So there's another, yeah, there's another entrance here. It's, easy to get lost though, or at least that's what I was finding, just uh, use this light. So I'm coming through here, down to there, that brings me in through where those doors were that I was cutting through. And I believe that leads me straight back to down, down to the bottom where I was. But I do want to come in through here. That there is where I found the data bank for the um, the repulsion cannon. But I, I think it's through here that I want to start going to be able to find my way uh, to the uh, uh, to the grappling arm. Right. Okay. So I think I need to yeah I need to head upwards. I need to get out of here. So I've left myself a beacon there for for now. But I'm going to come back here with better equipment. Uh, as I say, I mean, there's fragments like like thermal plants, for instance, the thermal plant fragments over there. There was a. Uh, I don't think there was anything there, but there was a moon pool fragment around here somewhere. Ah, oh, hold on, there's another fragment. Oh, there's a data bank. What's this one? Cyclops Depth Module 1. That could be handy. So that allow us, once we get a we get a Cyclops, we can go deeper. So there's some uh, thermal plant fragments. More over there. Scanner room fragment. So they dot around. I'm going to have to be careful because there's, I think it's one of those, they're those teleporters or um, I'm trying to remember what the, the proper name for them is. Um, they're really annoying because they pull you out of your seam off. And they can do a lot of damage to you and kill you. I mean, I've, I've, been, I've, I've been one hit by one of those things before. So what I'm going to do is, I need some more food and water. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to base and I'll uh, I'll bring you back once I get there. Okay, so I'm back at base now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the rebreather. I mean, I may as well. There are other actual uh, diving suits that you can get. We haven't found the blueprints yet. But uh, I'll put that away. So that should help us uh, survive a bit longer. Help, uh, help us with the uh, the O2. We still have the same supply, but in theory it should go down slower. Uh, another thing, I didn't realise that um, these decoys, it says you can actually deploy them by hand. So I'm going to build some of these and see what they're like. So we get three of them. So we'll put that into. Ah, right, okay. So you just you can't you can't put them into a slot. It seems. So you just have to release them from your inventory. Then. But what I'm tempted to do actually is to go over to Life Pod Twelve. Just for that, I mean, it sounds kind of dumb, really, going up a, up against a Reaper Leviathan with just some. With just some uh, creature decoys, but I'm, I'm quite tempted to do it actually, just to see what they like. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna jump out here and uh, 
I want to put some of these torpedoes in as well. Because I know when I last went over to... Yeah, the last time I was over at the Aurora, I did try the, the Vortex torpedoes against that thing and it really didn't make any difference. Oh, that's... Yeah, that is, yeah, it is like what 12 I need to go to. So I am quite tempted to see what that's like. I mean, I might try the, the stasis rifle. I don't really fancy my chances, to be honest. I mean, these are these are huge things. But uh, it's always worth a try. Get a laugh out of it, if nothing else. As far as I was aware, I think I'd mentioned in a previous video that... Um, if you die, so say you drown or you get killed while you're out, out and about in the ocean, I was pretty sure at the time that you would respawn with whatever inventory you had before. Um, well, like if I go out now, and for instance, and I pick up, say, like this piece of salt, if I die now, I'll lose that piece of salt. Um, so that's still the same, because your inventory does get saved, it's like a, the game takes a bit of a snapshot to see what your inventory is, but I was under the impression that I was, I mean, I mean, I was pretty sure that if you, if you died and you were near the Seamoth, then you would respawn in the Seamoth, but you don't. I mean, you can save your game and be in the Seamoth, for instance, but if I were to get out, and I die. I mean, I won't respawn in the Seamoth, I'll respawn at the, uh, like the life pod or at my base. So that's a bit of a disappointment. I thought, um, I thought I'd probably respawn in the Seamoth. So the trouble is, if I, if I die out here, the Seamoth's all the way out here, I'm going to have to come back and retrieve it, because what I want to do first, I mean, that's still a fair distance in this this reap is going to be pretty close by somewhere. I think what I might do is... I'm going to see how close I can get... ...before I spot one of these reapers. Oh, I thought I saw that one there. I want to see how close I can get before I spot one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the Seamoth because I'd rather... I don't mind uh, dying and having to, you know, respawning and having to come back and get the Seamoth. What I don't want is the hassle of losing the Seamoth and having to rebuild it again. Ah, it's just a full fragment. Yeah, so it, I think it was this area here because Life Pod 19 was around here somewhere. And I'd found some fragments of a Cyclops out here. So at some point I'm going to bring a, a scanner room out here. Um, I'm just going to have to really keep my eye out for one of these reapers. I'm sure there was one there. Oh, there's one of those annoying... I don't know if it's another type of shot. Oh, those, oh, those are pretty nasty as well. They're going to electrocute you. That's interesting, there's a wreck over here. Oh, oh, oh sh truth. Do not feel comfortable down here. Ah, now what's this? Don't think I've seen that before. Ah, ha ha ha! Ow, ow, ow. I think this is exactly what we're looking for. Oh, strength, I'm going to get electrocuted. Ah! That, that looked like a fragment of what I was looking for, actually. I'm going to have to quickly jump out and repair this. If that thing comes at me, I'm, I'm going to get electrocuted, though. Volcanic 
seismic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. I'm assuming you exercise you're... caution when diving deeper. I'm assuming you're talking about that thing there. I mean that's that's I mean that's but yeah that that is definitely electric. Right, I'm just gonna jump out here because I have that I'm wondering if we're gonna need three of these. Oh no it's a power transmitter. Draft. I was getting really excited there. I thought I found a fragment for the Cyclops. Having said that, I do need one of these anyway. It allows you to extend the reach of your um, your power supply, for instance, like the uh, those thermal plants, for instance. So that's quite useful. It's not pleasant. <laughs> yeah, that took a fair chunk out of me. Ah, yeah, what's that down here? Yeah, I've already got that. I thought as much. Ah, scanner room fragment. Mm, nothing exciting. Um, anything else? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not what I need. Yeah, I could definitely do a better diving gear. You can get, um, you can get better diving gear. It's a lot more, uh, it's a lot stronger. I mean, there's other types you can get which helps you, like, recycle the water, but. I don't think that's anything. It's cosmetic. Just jump back in the same up here. Okay, so. Hey. Will you go away? What is with these annoying fish? Another power transmitter. Uh, doesn't look as though the door can be moved at all. Um, hmm. Nothing particularly useful here. Ah, an open door. <laughs> Oh, that's distract. Um, hang on. Right, yes, yeah, so that's there. So that's there, and I need to get out here. So right, okay. So the seamoth's over there. Oh, what's that? Ah, right. So we've got a, a torch. Oh, this is going to be seriously disorientated. Especially if it leads to a dead end. <laughs> That'll be really frustrating. Ah, yeah. Yeah, quite a lot of these things are things I've already found. Mm. That's a bit... Oh, now what are you? Ah, yes! Yes, yeah, so... Oh, that's good, that, that, because that gives you uh, a better strength diving suit. Just need to keep an eye on that. Crip, just got myself electrocuted. You're in the water and you're going among the water electrical circuits there. That's kind of dumb. Right, $64 million question. How did I get in here and how do I get back out again? Right, I came in here. following it around and hopefully I should come back out again. Really weird these. Uh, yeah, it's frustrating because it's just so easy to get lost. Yep, you're back to where I started. Okay, so let's head along here. Uh, along here. Along there. 
that doesn't go anywhere. Ah, right, right, okay, so up over here, up here. Aha, this looks better. Right, so can I pick up the scene of somewhere? Should really be trying to get out, quite frankly. Um, not good, not good. Um, okay. Oh, there's a door we're going to have to break through. So I came in through a door, I remember that. Aha! Right, okay. Welcome aboard, Phew. Captain. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. So I lasted longer, and I reckon that'll be because of the diving suit. Uh, we're on 40, so... Okay. I think that was a, a locked door that I saw in here. Sure, I saw a locked door. Oh, yeah, there's a locked door. So I just slot that. Still going down at a rate of about three. Maybe it's just going slower. Battery power. Yeah, we're out of battery power. Uh, okay, so. Oh, rats, I'll have to find something to swap its power over with. One. Swap your power out. Yeah, I really need to recharge these batteries. Okay. Okay, so we've got a PDA down here. Integrating new PDA data. Hmm, so no upgrade, not new something I particularly need. So I'm not seeing anything else. I think that's about it for this wreck. Good. I mean, the really good thing is to get the um, reinforced diving suit. That's going to be definitely uh, useful. Okay, so... Oh, typical pitch black and we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a, a reaper. It's a pretty dumb idea, but... Fingers crossed it, um, it's gone somewhere else. If I just hug this, hug, hug the surface of this, the sea here, I'll, uh, I'll avoid it. Okay. Oh no 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 no! I don't want to be messing with them things. Oh, I'm at 60. Ooh, I'm really close to where the vent there. Right, so here's life pod 12, and after all, it's pitch black. Okay, let's see if I can get inside. Okay, so I've at least got the PDA. Integrate a new PDA data. So that's the medical officer. Let's play the medical officer's log. Right. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. <laughs> the doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones. When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? 
I'm actually going to die down here. Hmm, an interesting prediction. Unfortunately. Okay, so it's pitch black. Unfortunately, I'm not too bothered about the power um, now. I mean, I've got a, I've got a spare. Which I should have. Yeah, I've got a spare on me, and I can recharge. I can recharge these through the the moon pool anyway. So, I was hoping I might have picked something else up down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'll have a look around, and then. Um, I'll bring you back uh, once I find something. Okay, so there's Life Pod 12 over there, and I found another wreck. So it's it's quite close. So there's, that's about two wrecks we've found near this Life Pod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look around. I haven't seen anything outside yet. As I say, it is dark, but I'm going to have a look inside the wreck, and I'll I'll come back. Um, and show if I find anything really useful. Okay, so wasn't anything particularly exciting inside. There are some things like, I mean I've had to cut through a door. I found things like stasis rifle fragments. Um, a couple of them over there. Inside. It doesn't look as though this water filtration unit can be scanned. Normally you can re normally you can scan things you've already found and they just turn to titanium. But um, so that was a bit disappointing. One thing I did find though, which is just outside, which is very interesting, there's a data bank here which contains a an alien containment. So that's what it's called. So that's the. I've been talking about uh, like a big aquarium before, where you can hatch eggs, uh, breed fish, and it's that. It's this. It's, it's an alien containment. Then. Yeah, it's just a scanner room fragment. So that's uh, not much use to me because I've already got one. I'm kind of kicking myself a bit, really, because. Came down here really expecting to run into the um, that Reaper Leviathan, but uh, it's just these that I've had to contend with. They aren't too bad. I mean, they can do a lot of damage to you, but they don't seem anywhere near as bad as those Reapers. I'm not really spotting anything else around here, but that's that is definitely a good find. That. So, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the video there. What I'm going to do is, um, off camera, I'm going to have a bit more of a look around here just to see, now that it's light, I'll have a bit more of a look around to see if there's anything else that I spot. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to then head back to base. So, I do hope you've uh, enjoyed the video. If you have, then I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like. If you want to see more content of Subnautica, then do please subscribe. And uh, until then, thanks very much for watching. Bye!